Welcome to Health Tip Tuesday. My name is Harry, and we are here today with Amanda Young. She is our Healthy Athletes Manager for Northern California and Nevada. Hi, guys. And today we have Tammy Allred. Uh, she is our Clinical Director in Health Promotion, but she also has a Master's in Science in Nursing focused on education, and she is a registered nurse. Along with being our clinical director, uh, she is also a coach in bowling and track and field in Elko. Uh, her husband, Dan, is the, assist, uh, the area director. I'm pretty sure she's also the assistant area director with him. <laughs> her son, Ryan, has been an athlete in our Special Olympics uh, program for the last 12 years. So, Tammy, thank you for being on with us today. It's my pleasure. Um, today, you know, we just want to ask you some questions uh, concerning uh, what's going on uh, around us right now. Um, I know that a lot of our athletes are nervous about um, – about this, they don't really understand what the coronavirus is, and uh, some are nervous. And I think we 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 focus a lot of the time to take their minds off of it, but we want to educate them and give them a sense of relief uh, of what we're going through as a as a world. Yeah, I I feel a little scared right now. So, is there any way that we can feel less scared or feel a little safer. It is a little scary and it's hard to be, especially when you are not able to be around those that you're used to being around. And what I want you to do, what I want to tell you is, is don't be scared. I, I mean, I know that's easy for me to say, but it's really okay. Um, we, we are going to, um, we're all, coaches and administration are here for our athletes and we you can you can send us an email or if you want to send us an message through Facebook and we will all do our best to get back to you and and to make sure that you um, we answer your questions to the best of our abilities and to give you all the information that we have so you know our first question is what is COVID-19 and then is it different from the coronavirus? So COVID-19, those letters, C-O-V-I-D-19, is actually a short way of saying coronavirus disease 2019. So they are both, they are one in the same. How do we get it? And how do we detect symptoms? Or what are the symptoms of that? So we, um, a person can get COVID-19 or the coronavirus from somebody else who is infected. So if you are around somebody who is sick, who has a fever, who has a cough, uh, and, um, or is having difficulty breathing, and they cough in your direction or they sneeze in your direction and they have, this, um, have the virus, then you can get it from them. But what you need to be looking for as far as symptoms are concerned is, are you starting to feel like you're getting sick? So if you have a fever, if you have a cough, if you're having difficulty trying to catch your breath, those are some of the things that you would want to report to, um, to your doctor or to um, a nurse or to even just another, uh, another um, caregiver of yours or um, an aid of yours so that you can get um, checked out by the doctor. I heard that you could have the virus but not show any symptoms. Is that true? And do I have to go to the doctor if that's true? Yes, it is true that you could have the virus and not have any symptoms. But no, you don't need to go to the doctor. If I don't have if I, if I don't have the symptoms and I don't, uh, and, and I believe that I don't have the virus, why do I have to be quarantined with everybody else? 
Well, that's to keep you from getting it from somebody else. Mm -hmm. So, because, because like you said, if you have the, if you have the virus, but you don't have any symptoms, you wouldn't know. So that means it, um, you could give it to somebody else, even though you're not sick or um, somebody else who is not, doesn't know that they have it, they could give it to you because they don't know they have it. So that's why we need to keep our distance and stay away from each other um, and keep, keep what they call social distancing, which means we wanna make sure that we're staying away from each other at least six feet. We've been hearing the term shelter in place. Um, what, is that, what does that mean? Is that the same, is that the same thing as quarantine? So shelter in place means that you really need to stay inside your home. So in place means wherever you're at. It's not quite the same as quarantine because usually the word quarantine is when you have somebody who is actually um, sick or has um, tested positive virus and they're actually not only sheltering in place, but they're actually staying away. They might be in a of your home and they have to be completely isolated from other people. Mm. Shelter in place means that you could be in your home with the people that you live with. Can we still go outside while we're sheltering in place? You can go outside, but again, you want to make sure that you're keeping your distance from other people. So if um, you want to, you can go outside into your yard, you can um, walk around. We, you know, we go for walks up and down our street. And again, we just make sure that we're keeping away from other people. Why is it important to wash your hands properly? And, um, and what is the proper way to, to wash your hands? reason why washing our hands is important is because it is the best way for us to make sure that our we're not spreading any germs. We touch a lot of surfaces throughout the day and there could be, um, there could be different, um, there could be dirt, there could be germs, there could be grease, there could be all kinds of things on those things that we touch. So it's really important for us to wash our hands, not only because we're having an outbreak of a virus, but just in general, it's just really good for you to wash your hands several times a day. The best way for you to wash your hands is to make sure that you're using soap and warm water and for doing it for 20 seconds. The way you know that you have done it for at least 20 seconds is to sing the happy birthday song twice. So you can go into the bathroom, turn on the water, get soap in your hands, make sure that you're washing your hands in all areas, on the fronts and in the backs and your fingers. Do you have any last things to say to anybody who's watching this? You know, it's it, as long as we're we're doing the things that we should be doing. Again, we're washing our hands. We are keeping our distance from people that we um, that we don't live with. That we are doing. We're eating healthy and we're trying to stay active. That um, we're going to be okay. We we really are going to be okay. You just we just have to be a little bit more. Um, aware of what's going on around us and um, we just need to do our best. Uh, Tammy, thank you very much for taking the time out today uh, to speak with us about this. Um, and, you know, uh, as, a, as all of us, you know, we have, all, we have all the time now to sit at our house to talk about this. And I love the fact that we have the resources and the technology to see you. Uh, and speak face to face, even though it's through uh, video. And uh, uh, the information that I've learned today uh, it has been great. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Yep. See ya.